I'm Tom Stone with Thermal Care. Today we're going to be talking about our new TCFW375 chiller. This is one of the most innovative and leading edge chiller solutions available in the industry. It uses new variations on proven technology to push the operating envelope of the system. This chiller was specifically designed for ice rinks, but there are many other applications across many other industries for a low temp chiller like this. When the chiller is in ice building mode, it can provide around 50 tons of cooling at a 10 degree Fahrenheit set point. A typical NHL ice rink requires 80 to 90 tons of cooling to build ice. What this means is that we'll use two chillers in parallel, that way they will share the load and maximize their efficiency. This will also provide a level of redundancy. After the ice is built, you enter into what's called ice maintenance mode. The chiller is set at about 15 degrees Fahrenheit for this operation, and it actually requires much less cooling. Because of the Danfoss TurboCore compressor on this chiller, we can drastically reduce our energy consumption by greatly reducing the speed of that compressor. This takes advantage of one of those innovative technologies that we've incorporated into this unit. Additionally, the compressor that's specific to this chiller is designed for high lift applications like thermal storage operations or ice rink building. The TurboCore compressor uses magnetic bearings to levitate the shaft. What this means is that the variable speed design doesn't require oil, and therefore the chiller can actually turn its speed down to a much lower speed because we're not worried about oil return. Because we're at a lower speed, you get a much greater energy savings. Additionally, because of the oil-free design, the cost of maintenance is much lower. The TCF375 uses a new refrigerant R513A, which is a drop-in replacement for R134A. R513A is known as Option XP10, and it's the official refrigerant solution of the NHL. R513A has a GWP, which is the global warming potential of 573 compared to R134A's GWP of 1300. Additionally, Option XP10 has a very low toxicity and low flammability, which puts it in a class A1 for refrigerants. Another special component on the chiller is the vessel set. It includes a hybrid film evaporator and a shell and tube condenser. The shell and tube condenser allows easy access for maintenance and cleaning. The hybrid film evaporator is a special design that allows us to maximize the surface area of heat transfer between the fluid in the tubes and the refrigerant. This also allows us to minimize the refrigerant charge. The TCF375 also includes ThermalCare's standard full color touchscreen HMI. This is fully capable of IIoT 4.0 systems with many different communication protocols that can tie the unit into a full building monitoring system. This allows the system to function with the chiller to optimize efficiencies and achieve a net zero building. Thank you for joining us today and I hope you learned something. Now get out there and light that lamp.